In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the CSS line height property to define line height. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you learn to code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's head to the screen capture and learn about CSS line height. I'll see you there. So what it will do for you is if you have text like you see on the right here, you can increase the spacing between each line of text by changing the line height or decrease the spacing. Now by default, we have a spacing that's already applied and what I will do is show you what I mean. So I'm gonna add a CSS style to the font, or sorry, to the paragraph tag, and I'm gonna change the font size to 15 pixels. Save that, refresh the page, and we see the font size is slightly smaller now. And we're gonna change now the font size to 35 pixels. Now the font size is much bigger and the distance between the lines has changed accordingly. It's also a little bit bigger than it was for the 15 pixels. So as your font size increases, the spacing between the lines increases to match the new font size. Now what if you want a font size of 19, but you want to have much more space. Maybe you have a font type that's more easily read when there's more space between the lines, which is most often the case. All we have to do is type in line height and make that a pixel number that's bigger than the font size. And if you saw it increased a little bit, I'm gonna make it a little more extreme so you can see what, what we're doing here increase the pixel or the line height to 50 pixels and we're going to see a much bigger gap between the sentences. So this gap is quite large and as the page if you have a responsive site as the size of the paragraph adjusts that line height always stays the same no many no matter how many lines are in the paragraph. And so that's how we change the line height. And you can use any anything that you use for for the the font size. So font size is in pixels or m's or points you can change the line height according to those values. And likewise, like I was saying earlier, we can make the line height smaller. So if we make it the exact same height as the font size, we see that we're getting pretty scrunched. Now what if we make it 12 pixels? A little hard to read. What if we make it one pixel, just to go a little crazy? It's a bunch of gibberish. This might be great for publishing secret code, as long as nobody knows how to view the source, because if you view the source, all the text is still exactly how it's supposed to be. The only thing we're changing out front on the public facing is the line height. So this is uh, an annoying line height, I'm gonna change it back to 25. And this is much more readable. That's all there is to CSS line height. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side so you can learn more about coding. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.